This video introduces basic logic objects in Max. When you create a program, the basic premise of the thing you are doing is asking your program to make a decision, or a series of decisions, based on input that you give. Logic means using clear reasoning to go through a process. Using logical steps means that things happen in the right order with the expected outcome. You are already familiar with this idea. The idea of making comparisons and then a choice based on that information is a natural one for us. In math and programming, this includes using connection and comparison words like and, or, if then, and quantifiers like for all or for this set. From early math classes, you are shown how to put this idea into symbolic form. Greater than, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal, equal or not equal. There are a series of objects in Max that follow these math operations that you are already familiar with. They work by comparing two numbers and then giving an answer of true or false. And in numerical values, we say true is 1 and 0 is false. In Max, you can use a toggle box to see the output as a nice user interface, which shows a checked box for 1 or true and an unchecked box for 0 or false. These logic objects operate under the same constraints as hot and cold inlets. So keep in mind that input into the left inlet is hot and will cause an output, but input into the right is cold and will not cause an output. So let's just take a look at how the greater than object works. So here it is. We just have a new object with the greater than sign entered into it. And two integer boxes coming into the right and left inlets with a toggle on the bottom. So let's say that I put the number one into my right inlet Notice nothing has changed here. Even though now you see 0 is greater than 1, why does this still say off? Well, because this is a cold inlet, so input into the cold inlet has not caused an output. But now if I change this to, let's say, 2, is 2 greater than 1, and hit enter, then I see that my toggle has turned on. If I change my right inlet, even if I change it to something that changes the value, so like 3, 2 is no longer greater than 3. I haven't caused an output. So make sure that you're paying attention to the left inlet and the right inlet because this can cause a lot of confusion. The rest of the objects work in a similar way. Left inlet and right inlet, left operand and right operand. Then out of the objects you see a 1 or a 0. And if you want to see that in numerical form, you can also do that. The toggle is just a visual interface. So the next objects you see here are related, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal, and then equals and does not equal. So you see here, this equals object here, this form with two equal signs together, or an exclamation point and then an equal sign, is a construct in Max that is commonly seen also in other programming languages. The equal object reports a true if the numbers are equal, and a false if not. The does not equal does the opposite. Two other related logic objects are the logical and and the logical or. The logical and, or the double ampersand seen here, and again, this is common across other programming languages. The double ampersands together perform a logical AND. It's looking and waiting for both inputs to be true, and then it will output a true. It's called a logical AND because it's waiting for this AND that to be true. If this AND that are true, it outputs a true. Otherwise, it outputs a false. The logical OR works in a similar way. Logical OR will output a true if this or that, either of the inlets, are one or both can also be true, and it will output a true. You use these logic objects all the time in Max because they allow you to set up conditions and state changes rather than just static code. You can use them to have things change over time or change in response to an input signal or a user input. These are not the only objects that allow us to use conditional statements in logic, but they are a great place to start implementing this idea into your projects.